Hi everyone, it is 2.18 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on September, is it 6 or 7 now? What is it? It is the 7th. Wow, okay. I posted this video last night on uh, psychotronic warfare against Americans has intensified. And in this video, I included this article from Popular Mechanics, the Pentagon's Wall of Light Laser Shield, creating a wall of light in the air, the Plasma Acoustic Shield System. And I think, in truth by grace, captured that wall of light. Very scary lightning in super slow-mo um, off my porch. And in truth by grace, I believe, oh, lives in Michigan? I think so. Wow, okay. What happened there? Let's see. your artificial light show. Lasers can light up the air. I've been seeing these light shows go on from 2012 on. And I did an awful lot of traveling around pretty much the eastern half of our country for years, driving at night. And wow, it was quite the experience seeing what's happening in our skies. Okay, I will link below to everything. Once again, I want to recommend Mike Morales, um, who is on our weather events. Like, I, I don't know anyone else. So, uh, if you don't know and have not subscribed to Mike Morales, I really suggest you do. He interviewed the harp man, Billy Hayes. I'm just going to play a few minutes of Mike Morales' video uh, with Billy Hayes talking about this hurricane. And Billy Hayes, here, um, harp engineer, he put up the towers in Gakona. We put it up with the idea, it was an oil company putting it up there for tomography, geophysical mineral exploration, oil and gas. We came back a year later and it was occupied by the Navy and the Air Force. We finished doing a, doing a tune-up on it and putting in all of the transmitting antennas and all of the interlinking wires for the antennas. After that, it became a test subject, occupied by the Air Force and the Navy, and that's when I started thing, seeing things happen going wrong. It's still an experiment. It's for the weather, hurricanes, shaking the ground, initializing earthquakes. HARP has a plasmatic effect. When it hits the ionosphere, it becomes like a huge electronic amplifier. We're talking power like we can't even imagine. Bringing it right back down to Earth. So, listen to just a few minutes, listen. Those who are saying they're getting the echo, I don't understand what is happening. I have been, before I post the videos, checking it out. I do not hear an echo on my side. So if you hear an echo, I don't, I don't know how to correct it. This has been going on now. You know, I've been posting for eight years. Suddenly, you know, that echo, it's been what about a year now 
off and on. I don't change anything, so why the echo is occurring, I don't know. So it comes out and goes to the lower part of the hurricane as it's moving into Florida. This streak represents an electrostatic charged atmosphere that it's charged up just like the inside of a vacuum tube, electron vacuum tube. You heat up the air in the area, which excites the electrons that are in that area. Then when you shoot a signal or a pulse through it, it acts like an amplifier. This amplifier, as it picks up the current, it tends to bow, bend, and it will come in a straight line, and then it will at towards and it picks up more speed, more power, and it turns to the left. To the left. To the left. All right. Um, just wanted to give you, you know, a minute of this interview. Uh, the audio is not great. You're going to have to pay attention to what is being said. But if they have the ability to heat air. They change the weather. Just that in itself should alert people to the uh, capabilities that they have to change our weather. All right. Yeah, it's very frustrating when you see these catastrophic weather events happen over and over and over again, and people really suffering the consequences. In this video that I posted, I also included a video of a woman who, no, 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 I'm sorry. It was um, a video that I posted after that video, I'm sorry. And I'm going to, I'm going to uh, just play a few minutes again of what this woman is saying, which is very important. In the middle of the road, down, I had to come up the pound, move crate to get us to where we was. I could feel the car shaking, getting ready to lift up me and I didn't even the car screaming, hollering for him to get back in the car so the car wouldn't fucking go flying away with us. When we reached by my friend, her mommy bathroom, her, her only thing happened to her mommy two story, her bathroom, move upstairs, fell in, and the kitchen in the back. But when the, uh, the tail part of the storm came, the surge came into our house up to the second story. We had to take all the children and put them upstairs. I sat on the stairs and just prayed the whole time that that water didn't cover that house because people two story house was covered in water. Where the hell is going to put my children? No life vest, nothing. And they had babies in the house younger than him. Were they, were they scared? Like, they, did they know? They cried the whole time. All the children were scared. Everybody knew what was going on. As young as they were, they know it was something drastic happening. Oh, you could hear the ripping going on over And Michelle, this was enough. But, but I, I need to sit down in front of the news and see what took place in Abaco because that couldn't just been a hurricane. Yeah, multiple tornadoes. It wasn't just a hurricane that been tornadoes. The way people's homes are destroyed and me living in this Bahamas, I done been through a Category 5 hurricane right there in South Beach by Jam. I have never seen nothing like that. That was just not, that was not only a hurricane. That was not only a hurricane. People are really getting destroyed, guys. Oh, man. Well, here. All right. Um, I want to thank everybody for sending me information. Uh, PG and R videos is posting a lot of videos on what's taking place in the Bahamas, and this is one of the videos. That's the situation. We came in here on this bird, that bird, and another one right over there. Came in on three citations with intentions of dropping off relief supplies, helping to evacuate people. It is unbelievable to see how disorganized this shit show is. Un-fucking-believable. The people are hurting. 
the people are hungry, the people are tired, the people are frustrated, the people need to get out of there. And they hampered everything we did. We spent six hours in Nassau doing nothing but waiting. They finally gave us clearance, we got into Albuquerque, we got a whole bunch of stuff off, of Albu uh, off the plane, evacuated, two plane full of people, and then they canceled our clearance. What a joke. Now, all right, all, all looks set aside. I need everybody in Lima to send this voice note to every single person in Nassau. Boy, on the, when I walk through the line, through the eye of the storm, boy, people, dead bodies is in the road like flies. They line with the amount of dead people in Nabucco. The morgue at the hospital over full. The niggas tell me the morgue only hold 70 people. I said the clinic myself, boy, and they over jammed that, boy. At least 2,000 people dead in a storm, boy. I walk in the back of Great Seston to see my family, bro. Big bodies in the road like flies, but I ain't talking about no one, two things, boy. You could see hands sticking off from under houses and things where they get crushed, boy. People looting and stuff, boy. The civilians get a hold on guns from Ace High where and places and stuff like that, boy. White people walking up and down by their business trying to protect it with guns willing to shoot people, boy. A martial law is in Abaco. It's a mad, mad rural in Abaco, boy. The media lying about the shit, bro. I just come from Abaco today. Y'all know who I is. My name is Uriel Sims. Whoever I'm gonna check that fuck, come check me, boy. I need everybody in Nassau to hear this voice note, boy. Spread awareness about what's happening over there, boy. They have orders to shoot people by sight on the airport because the airport's supposed to be a base, bro. Spread this, boy. Make pay. You all got you all gotta let people know what's happening on happening over there by looking at the newspaper when they come across the day boy. I just come across four o'clock the day boy and 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 I'm talking about only twenty dead so far in fucking Abaco. But you could walk on a mile and see twenty fucking people dead, but spread spread this way, spread this way. And it ain't only no Haitians taking over. That's only the portrayal of the media like the media like the good way. It's Haitian and Bohemian doing that shit over there, but that's why the storm come, way. You all too divided and thing with Haitians supposed to be our black brothers and sisters and thing and you're hating on them, but try they try come together and lift one another up. Hey? And I want you to send this one out for me to back up my fox. I done tell the people Ah, boy, you pay, ain't pay, God strike. You weren't supposed to test the good Lord, but Lord strike Madonna if I tell a damn lie. It could add up all islands in the Bahamas, including friggin' Nassau, and Abaco had a more Haitian population than them. You know how much undocumented Haitians was on my island, bro? And you know how much of them dead, boy? Boy, I wish I had my phone to take a picture, boy. Boy, I wish, boy. The modern peas is a lake, dog. A lake. They was underwater, boy. You know how much you know how much old stubborn Haitian people stay in their house and they roof collapse on them or they drown, boy. Wait, you see what I saying, boy? All these numbers but 20 there, they only trying to make you all feel comfortable, bro. No, this ain't no time to be comfortable. It's a time to be hopping in your friggin' bro. Hopping in one plane and flying your ass to Abaco. Abaco need all the help I get, boy. Okay, so we all know we're being lied to by the mainstream media. I will link below to this channel. Uh, here's another video. Which, well... Look, we've seen this in states in the United States. We're seeing it now in the Bahamas and isn't it interesting that we have these fabulous powerful militaries England United States and they seem to be so unbelievably incompetent they just can't reach the people that bullshit yeah.
And I have people commenting underneath my videos on the Bahamas. They, they think that the whole thing is a hoax. Okay. Um, wow. Well, all right. Here on this Twitter page, together we rebuild. A uh, fourth person has died in a wave of shootings in the Capitol last night. Apparently, there is an awful lot of violence. And I have to wonder, you know, um, the one thing about these events is that it, they, it really pulls people together. Um, so I wonder if the powers that be unleash, unleash, you know, their gangs to create a lot of the looting and the murders that are taking place now. I don't know, but yeah, the Ministry of Works getting a new paint job. Is this urgent? Saturday, 12, 28 p.m., two hours ago. Uh, here. Nine bodies on the side of the road. Yes, miss. I knew tired to get some rest, but... I'm going to give a last message, message to the Prime Minister. Tell him this. I just want to say to the Prime Minister, if you call yourself a leader, you should have been in Grand Bahama a long time ago. Grand Bahama needs you and they need your help. This is not the time to be political, but I'm just saying we in Grand Bahama need your help. Your people left Grand Bahama with nothing, just the clothes on their back. Grand Bahama, at least do a walk to and go and talk to the people. You can't be afraid of your Bahamian people. Go and talk to the people. All right, thank you, young lady. Okay. I'll be your man. We got some rest of Thank you. All right. Yeah. Well, when you are in one of these catastrophic events, don't rely on your government, your leaders, you know, to help you out. You got to rely on one another. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are posting about the PM, the Prime Minister in Starbucks. Um, live homicide scene. Two other murders taking place. Homicide count climbs by three to 72 in just three hours. 72 homicides. Lone survivor who lost her husband and three kids. Oh, man. All right. It's, uh... Unbelievably heartbreaking. And I don't know. I'm just kind of left speechless. You know, think about 
Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico. And then think about all of the government officials and, and Trump and they all are like, when you listen to these press conferences, they go on and on about how great the rescue efforts, how great the first responders are, how great everything is. And it's bullshit. One thing that I think we all know, that if, if countries everywhere cared about what is taking place, they'd be all on it. You know, the Democrats, what, what, what are we listening to? You know, they talking about climate change, they talking about uh, the Green New Deal, and they all on that campaign trail, nothing stops them. You know, Trump goes golfing. Uh, this is days and days after, and they're still pleading for help. <sighs> Here, urgent public notice. Bahama wishes to advise the public that we have resumed service into Treasure City, Abaco, yesterday. We will commence emergency relief flights into Marsh Harbor beginning today. We will advise of emergency relief flights for Freeport as soon as all is clear. For those who may have misinterpreted our early communications, we confirm that all persons wishing to leave the Abaco Island will be provided passage free of cargo, free of change, I'm sorry. Um, we trust that this will clarify any early communications. You know what? <laughs> Why would they even have communi uh, confusing communications coming out when things, you know, that's, when communication needs to be very clear, very simple. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really tired of this happening all over. Never stops. And then you have... I was going to say you're shit-ass people that don't care, and you try to get through to them that this is a war, and... This boy is missing. This mother is missing. Apparently, a plane landed and was robbed immediately. Treasure K. Abaco. There were reports of deaths far in excess of what is being reported. People trying to locate. I got a comment from a subscriber who has friends that they have not heard from. Trying to locate my cousin and her mom. Haven't heard from three children and mother and father. I'm sorry, the help could be there. Uh, the Bahamas became an independent commonwealth realm in 1973 with Elizabeth II as its queen. In terms of gross domestic product per capita, the Bahamas is one of the richest countries in the Americas, following United States and Canada, with an economy based on tourism and offshore finance. Yes, 
the Queen. The Royal Bahamas Defense Force is the military of the Bahamas. The Defense Force is also a member of CARNICOM's Regional Security Task Force. And who is the commander? Queen Elizabeth II. The woman who has more money than God has she said anything about the Bahamas? I haven't seen anything on mainstream media. But this woman alone could help all of those who survived alone. Now, and then so many people are just so enraptured by, oh, these famous people and these people in positions of power, Queen Elizabeth and the royal family. And they do squat for people. They don't give a shit about people. They're the worst of the worst, and people are just putting them on a pedestal still when they, all the evidence is in. The United States military, um, the British military, they can get in there with their ships, with their helicopters, with their planes. This is all, you know, uh, and then you'll have people respond like, well, it's complicated, Carol. The logistics. I heard on mainstream media that the logistics are difficult. Bullshit. This escalates. escalates. At, At least 80, 80 people, people now confirmed, confirmed dead. dead. Hundreds still, still missing. 30, 30 people, people dead. dead. I, I, I meant, meant to say 30. 30 and, and the country's... Yeah, okay. 80 people dead? Oh, I meant to say 30 people dead. And hundreds missing? Or... Uh, th there are about 70,000 that's that was one report I read 70,000 are homeless now 70,000 people are homeless now how many went homeless after Harvey how many homeless in 2019 all of the people all over our country losing their homes their homes destroyed people do not have the money that so many Americans believe they do have, they still comfortable and believing that their experience, well, is everybody's experience, and well, they should have had insurance. Even the people who have insurance get screwed. You know, we've got, we, yeah, we're watching the most evil shit show go on, lied to all the time. What's real is on the ground. All of the suffering that has taken place, that's real. I want to give my warmest, best wishes to the people of the Bahamas. I know what you're going through. I spoke to your Prime Minister yesterday, and he's absolutely devastated. It looks like the numbers are going to be far worse than anyone ever thought. At the request of your government, the United States has come in. We have the Coast Guard. We have tremendous numbers of people working there. We're bringing food, we're bringing water. As you know, in the United States, we weren't hit nearly as hard as was thought, but the Bahamas got hit very, very hard. I just want to say this. On behalf of the United States and the people of the United States, we're working hard, we're with you, and God bless you. You know what? How many times do we hear this? How many? Oh, our leaders come out. We're with you. We stand with you. It doesn't matter if it's another country or even, you know, places like uh, Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas. It doesn't matter. Harvey, um, we're with you. And then everything's dropped. We go on to the next drama. People forget about all of the victims that are still suffering from, oh, hey, how about those California fires a couple of years ago? How about that one last year? Oh, how about the Harveys that, you know, are, we have so many people suffering now. And you know what? The one thing that we are really good at, bombing other countries, bombing other countries. That's what we're good at. We're good at creating the devastation. And then we give this lip service to how much we care and we're going to go in there our united states coast guard we go this is days later days later and really we need a request from the prime minister of the bahamas 
oh, I suppose, uh, well, formally, but we should have been, we should have been, well, oh, we were there. That's right. We were there. Steering it, holding it in place. Christy and Nicole, the president, still tweeting to him about his false claim from Sunday that uh, Alabama was actually in Dorian's danger zone. In the meantime, today, his defense secretary now pledging military support for the Bahamas. Express my condolences to all those affected by that, uh, by that hurricane. The Defense Secretary Mark Esper now pledging Pentagon support to the Bahamas. Details about those Dorian relief efforts, though, have not been announced. I have authorized uh, DOD support, if you will, to, uh, uh, to, to, the, to, the, to the few people in the Bahamas who have suffered greatly from this hurricane. The President also pledging his support, but not... No details. And we've got now, I didn't even know, how many defense secretaries have we had? Can't keep up. But, oh, now, the military. The military's going in? That, to me, doesn't sound very good. Um, but what, what is mainstream media focusing on? This unbelievable... What took place six days ago with Trump talking about the hurricane and uh, uh, including Alabama, I mentioned it in a video six days ago. Mainstream media, that's what we've been hearing for, what, 24-7? About he using a black Sharpie and showing a different tracking and even his own government agency, uh, NASA or NOAA, um, saying that the hurricane was not going to hit Alabama. So get over it. People are in desperate need. I can't listen to this interview. And I don't give a shit about this guy. I care about who's, who is speaking. My best to hold it together. It is it's extremely Frightening. Um, it's scary. It, it, I feel so displaced and not being able to communicate with the outside, with the family, it's just, it, 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 it's scary. What is your, what is your neighborhood, neighborhood like right now? Right now? Um, there's no neighborhood. There's nothing here. We're actually sitting in a car now, just, um, trying to figure out what's the next step. Um, it, I don't feel safe. I don't see um, the authorities around. They said that they're there, but I, I honestly don't see them. Um, there's a lot of death that's around us. It's a lot of chaos. Um, there's a lot of destruction. You could literally smell the death in the air as the water dries up and the sun comes out like it's 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 so unreal it's devastated alcohol is just a moment it's finished and we just need a plan like what what we need help we need help we need to evacuate we need to get out of here we don't understand what's happening we need to leave have you seen signs of police the coast yeah. Well, they say the authorities are there, but I don't see them. I don't see them. I'm sorry. Our military alone could have evacuated all of these people very quickly. But that's not the point, right? That's not the point. The point is... The point is... You know, let people die. Um land grabs, whatever, whatever. Uh, but look at this cloud. Really? That's a natural cloud. Uh, the Outer Banks, North Carolina, catastrophic flooding. Doesn't look like there was much wind. 
Looks like they got hit with a rain bomb. No, nothing, no debris in the waters. But they had, this was apparently a category one with high winds. All right, guys, you know. It is heartbreaking, frustrating, maddening. Um, this just goes on and on and on. So apparently, the Outer Banks got flooded out. And yeah, what are they doing? Ah, climate change is already driving mass migration around the globe. They create the storms, call it climate change, and then they have to evacuate everybody. Well, look at what's happening in the Bahamas. Then they migrate them to different countries and what who is uh behind all of this it's united nations united nations international organization for migration and migration and climate change this is a united nations document all links are below stay safe everybody